yeah, what's the whole concept behind this uh, this album? Horizon Tides is the name of the record. The, the concept is if you focus on the horizon, the future shall always be bright. And it's really about finding joy in your life and keeping joy in your life. You're holding the vision. A good friend of mine passed away shortly before this record. He uh, was one of the first people I played music with where I live in, in Utah and uh, just an awesome person, always a happy person, somebody that inspired me a lot, somebody that I miss a lot. And uh, I thought a lot about you know his journey uh, and, and just the kind of person that he was when I made this this album and, and it's kind of the synchronicity of you know me coming up with this phrase of you know focus on the horizon the future will always be bright and my friend who who lived in that brightness just you know brought joy to everybody it, it's interesting how it all came together uh, there's so many so many interesting things about this album too in terms of how I take Peruvian symbology of you know the mountain lion being uh, the symbol for life or the puma and then the um, snake being kind of the symbol for the afterlife um, or rather uh, something more like you know going through the underworld to get to the afterlife in the realm of the condor which kind of equates to heaven and, and, and it's um, it's really interesting kind of the, the path you know kind of I followed with that and how it relates to my friend's path kind of you know his life and then kind of his journey maybe you know from the afterlife like a spirit you know without a body you know not who wasn't quite ready to go just yet but you know certainly would quickly I know because of the great person that he was find his way into the realm of the condor and uh and be flying up there uh with with the condors and that's that's kind of base jumping was was what uh what the last thing that he was doing he loved it you know daniel i miss you man and um you know here's a little music for for you and thank you for everything that you taught me and and thank you for for being a great friend to me um in, in my life you know i definitely honor uh, i like to honor friends and family the people that inspire me that influence me um, you know one of the songs is, is from my mother who is one of my biggest influences in life uh, to this day and and she used to tell me you know I love you more than life and it's really kind of a fitting ending to the record you know you know so I love my mom more than my life I know that she's here I staying in the hotel you know I had the same kind of rims on the faucet that, that were in my house that I grew up with and I, I just kind of noticed this yesterday and I was like hey guess who's here you know kind of it feels like that you know and I, and I like to feel that it, it brings me comfort and and uh and you know music and and having a conceptual album that, that goes in stages these days a lot of people just put together pretty badass songs which is awesome too but you know I really enjoy the craft of of making an album and, and thinking about okay how what's the flow going to be and and how will the whole thing act as a whole how will it be digested so to speak as as like a meal as opposed to simply oh okay this song is great let's just pop it on there you know what's the so i'm excited to finish the sequencing of the the songs and um and i'm just thrilled about uh what we we're able to do and and how well uh we got along, me and Antoine, and, and just how easy it was in a way to to just focus and, and, and make great music, which is really about my favorite thing to do in the world. So um, I'm, I'm really excited uh, about, uh, you know, where this vision came from and how it's materialized in the actual form with the music and, and the art on the record is, is wonderful. I got a chance to explore some oil painting um something people in my family do and I, I hadn't really tried and and uh it was fun to kind of abstract this concept with some paintings and then michael halberg who's an incredible uh visual artist he designs for uh 
some pretty big people in the music industry, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as well. And, um, and he was, you know, so cool about putting this into a really awesome cover art. Uh, there's a lot of great artists and minds and spirits in, involved in the project, and, uh, and, and that's really what's made it special for me. And, you know, it was, it was worth the trip to come from Utah. I came here because I had heard that Antoine built this studio and I said, that's got to be the place to do it. It just seems, just seems right. I mean, solo acoustic guitar, it's a, it's a pretty small genre of, you know, niche artists that are really experimenting with guitar and, and trying to bring, you know, music to, to new heights and new motifs. And, and it's uh, everybody that I've met in the genre is, is really cool. Um, some people I haven't met, I'll just talk to you online and, and we crack jokes. We like similar jazz and, you know, myself and Preston Reed talk about that on, uh, on Facebook. And it's, uh, it's really just, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to everybody. All the music that's coming out of this genre is great. And so it's, I knew I had to, had to be here to, to make this album. And it sounds so good so far and it's only going to sound better when we finish the last little bits but uh, in any case that's the story behind the record and uh, c'est tout <laughs>